There may be no more famous set of false teeth in all of the movie world than the famous James Bond villain of the 1970s, Jaws. I'm going to tell you how the creator of those famous teeth got bitten in the rear end earlier this year and how that affects your dental marketing when we return. If you're over 40, like Matt, or just a big fan of the 007 movies, you probably remember the bad guy, Jaws, in the movie The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker. While those weren't two of the best James Bond movies, Roger Moore is no Sean Connery after all, they did give us an iconic set of false teeth to remember. These teeth were created by British dental appliance fabricator Luis Fairman. Well, if you've followed the news at all, this summer, Fairman got into a bit of trouble for producing a YouTube video in which he called himself a dental technician. The problem is, the Brits have a law that says all dentists, orthodontists, dental nurses, dental technicians, and hygienists must be registered. Fairman was not. So he got fined about a thousand pounds or about $1,700. For his defense, Fairman said he was a dental technician before the law was passed and just never bothered to register. Now he's going to stick with calling himself a dental mechanic and repairing and producing dentures. There are two things I would say to you about this. Number one, be very careful of your wording choices. Most of you live in states with at least some restrictions on how you can promote yourself. Some state dental associations are more strict than others, and our Canadian friends face even more strict restrictions than our American friends watching this podcast right now. Don't let a slip of the tongue, as Fairman claimed, bring you to negative publicity. Secondly, and even more importantly, don't make false claims. Don't exaggerate your expertise. Don't publicly claim certifications that you don't have, even if it seems minor. Here's why. A big part of what you sell is expertise and credibility. Most people will believe you if you say you're an expert in orthodontics, implants, or sleep apnea. They have no reason to doubt you. If you're doing a good job in your marketing, there will be plenty of instances online to back up your claim. The truth always has a way of coming out. If you do a promo video that says you're certified in a particular treatment, have the credentials to back it up. And don't just claim you sat in on a two-hour seminar at your last state dental association meeting. Because it'll be a real black eye if and when your competitor researches you and outs you. And of course, it's going to really damage your practice if your state dental board nails you for doing so. Instead, emphasize the things that you are certified in and really do well. Otherwise, those exaggerations might come to bite you in the end. Until tomorrow, keep moving forward.